So last night, what a game and what an atmosphere at the bridge. One of the top, 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 top nights of European football I think we've seen. Last night we inflicted on Juventus the worst defeat they've ever had in the Champions League or the European Cup. Now that, <laughs> that says it all really. I thought we were excellent as a team last night. Obviously some players played better than others but I'm not going to be too critical because we were just excellent. So last night it was Chelsea 4, Juventus 0. And the team was Mendy in goal, uh, right wing back was James, left wing back was Chilwell. In the middle we had Chalaba, Silva and Rudiger. Um, in the middle of defence, in midfield, Kante and Jorginho sitting behind Ziyech and Callum hudson Adoy with Pulisic up front. So, 4-0, but what I think we should really say, that if it had been, I thought Chesney, I thought Chesney in goal for Juventus had an absolute blinder. If he, I think he saved more last night than he saved in his entire career at Arsenal. He made some belting saves. That first one he made from uh, first one we had that, that we had a not his first save, but we had Chilwell miss kicking in front of goal. I thought, oh, that's going to be one of them nights. Um, then Chesney, that brilliant save from um, Reese James from the uh, the free kick where he tried to catch him out down low to his right. Um, and the chances all night came and uh, went. The, the James shot um, that, that Chesney put, put by. Callum hudson Doy had a chance in front of goal. Silver's header um, that, again, Chesney uh, got across and saved. I just... Oh, and I had a Ziyech, a Ziyech shot. It was... <laughs> he must have... He must have really earned his money last night and he was unfortunate in a way to let in four, but fortunate in another way, I guess, not to let in about seven or eight. It really was a comprehensive team performance. I don't think we've that played that well since, in my own opinion, about 2007. People were saying last night, is this the best ever Chelsea side? No, I don't think it is, but I think it's up there with the best Chelsea teams um, for playing teamwork because, as I say, last night was just unbelievable, wasn't it? So, uh, Morata was back at the bridge and I must put a special mention because we always talk about the goals and at 4-0 we should, but that clearance from Thiago Silva will go down as one of the best clearances at the bridge, one of the best defensive clearances. Morata put it over Mendy I was surprised because we're talking Morata and um, and I don't like Morata. <laughs> I was gutted when that went over. And when Silva got behind and then managed to clear it, I just I was I was on cloud nine, trust me. And uh, oh my god, <laughs> Morata did get some stick last night, didn't he? And it was well earned for being a powder puff um, traitor. <laughs> So uh, anyone I dislike more than Rat probably, and a lot more, is the snake. It's uh, Courtois. Anyway, I digress as usual. I'm just happy about last night, if I'm, if I'm brutally honest. So Chalibur opened the scoring. I, um, when there was a, a VAR check, I thought it was for Jorginho's push on the geezer. Because uh, from where I was, it looked like a foul. But I'm not going to start a We've had loads go against us, so fair play. Apparently the VR, VAR check was for a handball by Rudiger. Um, but uh, I think Jorginho did give it one. Reminded me of um, uh, Terry and Carvalho. Do you remember that? Carvalho, I, Carvalho either used to block or push, and Terry used to come in and, and, uh, and whack in a header from corners. So perhaps we've... Uh, Perhaps we start the same thing again and long might continue as long as we don't give away uh, free kicks instead of goals. Um, and then Chalibur's finish absolutely perfection. Finished it like a striker. 
Second half, Reese James, what can I say? What a pole driver. I don't know a keeper in the world that would have saved that. That was absolutely whack. Laced his straight through it. The Callum hudson Adoy goal, I think, must be up there in my top 10 team goals, literally in 50-odd years. Everything about it. <clears throat> you, you know, the uh, Rudiger ball... Um, perfect ball. Reese James trapped it with one foot and let it go behind to the other. Lovely piece of control. Who then played it in to Ruben Loftus Cheek, who is footwork, is footwork in that area, getting through, pushing it. Sort of, he skipped by two players, didn't he? Pushed it through to um, Callum Hudson Adoy, who finished it perfectly. What a great team goal that was, and that's right up there in team goals for me. And lastly, of course, Timo. <laughs> Another great ball from Rhys James, who was my man of the match last night. Kenny at the back for, uh, for Juventus. He played that more like Ken out of Ken and Barbie would have played it. And obviously it went out to uh, to Ziyech, who then put a perfect ball in, and Timo finished it off. A perfect end to a perfect evening. I was just, oh. I'm still on cloud nine. I'm still on cloud nine. Please don't let Sunday bring me down to earth. So <clears throat> let's get on with the, with the scores. Mendy, Mendy gets a seven point five. He only had from what I can remember, one save to make, and it was a decent save too. It, it's what I'd expect him to save. It was quite high and over, but the guy did enough, uh, did enough belt it. If I was being hypercritical last night, a couple of his uh, balls, his distribution wasn't what it normally is. Um, one I remember going out into the crowd with Rudy Gur, and another one went over the top. I think it was Chilwell, but who cares? 4 0 Juventus. Uh, Mendy made a decent save. Mendy gets a 7.5 from me, only because he didn't have an awful lot to do. And as I say, I picked out, I'm being hypercritical, you know, sometimes you've, you've got to say he didn't do much, but 7.5. Um, that, that save proved his concentration was still there, so that's, that's, that's all we want. James last night is going to get a 10 from me. A 10. Scored a blinding goal, always a threat going forward. But do you know what, as well? He made three or four defensive interventions and a couple of great tackles that, that broke down their attacks. He was immense, going forward and defensively. I think he's our most improved player uh, this season because he had some dodgy moments last season even though he played well for a young man and uh, I, I thought it was just unbelievable last night and when you see him live you realise just how strong the geezer is as well see that young man has got a big big future just sign him just sign him give him a contract for 10 years he's um he's something else he really is uh Chilwell last night gets a nine from me it's a shame he got injured I'm praying that it's not too bad. I would love to see him run out against Manchester United. I'm not expecting it, but I just, I, I think we need him Sunday, really. I, I know Alonso, you know, but defensively, um, maybe, maybe even Aspie might even play there if Chilwell was not fit because it is United. Uh, because they have got threats. I mean, that Sancho is no mug, is he? In the middle of defence, we had Chelabar, who gets a nine from me. Again, last night, he was absolutely immense. Great finish for the first goal, but defensively, he was on it. Concentration for 90 minutes, didn't put a foot wrong. Young man, Juventus, Champions League, and uh, he was superb. Well done, Trevor Chalabar, and welcome to this first team squad. You deserve to be there. Um, I bet Christensen's agent is hating it. I bet he's thinking, crikey, you know, if if, if Christensen says, oh, I'm not signing, they're going to be saying, all right then. Um, probably not that simplified, but you know what I'm saying. 
Silva last night. Oh my God, that defensive clearance. Oh, <laughs> I just, I'm still amazed. I'm still amazed by it. Uh, and from Morata as well. That was the tin out on it. I had a point. I had a point for you last night, Silva. Just for you. That's before the sort of eight or nine for Chelsea. Um, but Silva last night, he gets a nine. Um, Rudiger gets a, an eight point five. A um, couple of dodgy balls, but apart from that, he was superb all night. He was aggressive, like we expect Rudiger to be. Uh, he won. He won his tackles. He was composed most of the time under pressure. Rudy gets an eight point five from me. Kante again. Oh, I can't believe you know that before the Man United game, Kante of all people looks like he's injured. They say it's not that bad. It was more that he just feels this this uh, hamstring and, and uh, decides to. You know, tell the manager, and the manager brings him off as a precaution. So please, let's hope it's nothing uh, bad. Kante last night before he went off gets an 8.5. He was everywhere. Uh, superb, superb performance. And then unfortunately, he gets uh, he gets injured. Jorginho last night gets an 8.5 from me. Again, excellent. Really defensively as well. <laughs> he is. He's like a. A little barking dog. He's not that. He's, he's not that strong, but he uh, he's there all the time. Did a lot of good defensive work and put a lot of forward balls um, forward when when he could, which I've been critical of in the past. But he's definitely brushing up and played it sideways and just calmed things down as and when it was uh, needed. Ziyech now. Ziyech. A couple of assists last night. A lot of good stuff last night. Worked his socks off 90% of the time last night. First half, first 20-25 minutes, I don't know how to score him really. Because some of it was excellent and some of it was like he had a club foot. I can remember three passes where I thought he should have done an awful lot better. And I think he hit them that hard, they're, they're, the ball's running down the Fulham Road. It's... He's an enigma, isn't he? He'll do something brilliant and he'll do something really naff. But do you know what? His effort has improved so much and he did a lot of good things last night. I'm going to give ZH an 8. Um... I think that's a I think that's a fair score, because I was pulling my hair out at times with some of the things he'd done, and then other things he did I would just go excellent. So I think an eight, an eight. He definitely contributed, but I say he lost the ball in a couple of places, some terrible passes early on, but he grew into the game and uh, no, he gets an eight from me. Callum Hudson Odoi gets a nine. I thought the young man was superb last night, and do you know what he's added to his game? He's added that eagerness, that determination to get back when he loses the ball. A couple of times yesterday, he lost the ball himself, got back, won it back. A couple of times, someone else lost the ball. He got back 30, 40 yards, won the ball back. And not only that, he's such a threat going forward, isn't he? He's nice and direct now. None of this tippy-tappy back. Go for it, cut inside, try and get a shot off. He's more aware if people are coming into play. Uh, fair enough, once last night he could have passed it. Uh, but do you know what? He took it on himself, and, and I don't blame him. That's, that's the job of a, of a forward or an attacking, um, an attacking midfield player. And then Pulisic last night, he's still, you can, he's still working his way back. Got through loads and loads of work defensively and offensively. Um, but you could see he's just coming back from, from injury. He didn't set the world alight, but he worked really hard for the team and he gets an eight from me as well. So, the subs come on and I have to, I don't normally mention the subs, but Ruben Loftus-Cheek came on for Kante last night and I think the biggest 
compliment I can give Ruben Loftus Cheek is that we didn't seem to miss Cantor. And some of the runs, some of the driving run, the power, he, he went on one run, and then this geezer was literally hanging off his shirt. And Ruben Loftus Cheek was just running along with him. Do you remember that? <laughs> and uh, next one came in with a shoulder barge to try and take it. Bang, off you go. The guy is so strong, even running with the ball. And um, that little, that little, well, he done, he done some great stuff all night. He was available. He was passing the ball sensibly. He was taking players on. And that little run for the um, the Callum Hudson and Doy goal, the, 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 you know, the little bit of skill in the area there. I'll tell you, I don't normally score a substitute, do I? But I'm, I'm going to give Ruben Loftus Cheek a nine last night. Thought he was absolutely superb when he came on. Obviously, he's, he plays a different game to Kent, eh? But what we lost um, through sheer determination and, and ground coverage, we got back in skill and driving run. So one sort of compensated um, for the other. Timo Werner come on. I'm not going to score him. He wasn't on long enough, but he got his goal. Well done, Timo. I was really chuffed to see you. Mason Mount came on for Callum hudson the door. Just needed a few uh, extra minutes to get himself back after this operation. Sol uh, Niguez came on for Jorginho, and I, and I was like, oh. I thought, oh, I can't watch this. He played excellent when he came on. Absolutely didn't put a foot wrong. Won the ball a few times. Um, and again, the biggest compliment I can give him is in the short time he was on the pitch, we didn't miss Jorginho. And obviously, Caesar um, has to come on for, for Chilwell and, and done the normal steady job that, that Aspie does. Um, we lost a fair bit from the, point of view, from the point of view of our offensive game, but by that time, you know... We needed to, to have some steady heads there and can't get steadier than Aspie, I guess, if, we, if we're losing Chill well. So that was it. Tommy Tuchel last night gets a 10. Gets a 10. I'm sure he made some mistakes. I'm positive he's human. But you know what? He gave me one of the best... Well, his team gave me one of the best nights of my... 50-odd years supporting Chelsea Football Club. It gave Juventus their worst ever defeat in Europe. And I think that says it all. Thank you, Tommy Tuchel, for setting that team up, for motivating them like you obviously did. And long, long may it continue. That was brilliant last night. Now, if you like these vlogs, please subscribe to the channel. It would be lovely to eventually get it monetized and uh, pass the word on. So, oh, go and have a go and have a listen to to Glenn if you if you don't think I'm so absolute rollocks. Okay, thanks again. If you like these, please subscribe, and I shall speak to you after the Manchester United game. Um, yeah, I'm going on uh, Sunday, so this will probably be probably Monday or Tuesday that it comes out. But uh, speak to you after the game. Up the Chelsea.